What's up guys, Russ Lyman here. In today's DIY video, I'm gonna show you how I made this custom Super Nintendo controller that is Bomberman themed. Let's check it out. Now, Bomberman is a fun multiplayer game that came out on various systems. But on the Super Nintendo, they actually had this adapter so you can play four players at once because the Super Nintendo only had two ports. So the person that reached out to me, Jerk Unit on Instagram, wanted this controller themed after that four player adapter. So that's what I basically based my design around. So first things first is take apart the Super Nintendo controller. I had to take all the pieces off and this controller was kind of extra grimy. So I wanted to make sure everything was clean before I started. So I went to the sink and used some hot water and dish soap and scrubbed down everything so it's nice and fresh and clean. And I did this with all the buttons, the rubber membranes, and the shell itself. And once those were dry, I was ready to begin. Now the parts that I was gonna be painting was just the shell and the L and R button. I was gonna leave the regular buttons purple and the D-pad I wasn't gonna to touch, so I put those aside. And just wanted to smooth everything out, so I just hit it with some sandpaper. This way it had a smooth finish to it. And of course, I cleaned everything off. I used a 50-50 solution of rubbing alcohol and water in a spray bottle, and that works great as a cleaner. Now, this game is Bomberman, so you're using bombs to blow stuff up, so I thought it'd be a fun idea to try to get some burn marks in the controller. So I got a big lighter, basically, and tried to burn the controller a little bit to see if I could get some type of effect. And it did add some soot and stuff like that to it on the side of the controller. So I figured maybe I'll revisit that at the end after I paint everything. So now I love using this stuff here, Epoxy Sculpt. It's a two part clay. You mix at 50-50 ratio and it'll harden. No need to put this in an oven or a kiln. It just hardens in 24 hours. So I want to give it the effect of the controller actually melting. Maybe it was hit by a bomb or something like that and pieces were kind of melted in the controller itself. So I was just adding parts of clay to the back of the controller, kind of making it look like melted plastic or parts that were kind of breaking apart. And then I just went back with an X-Acto knife and I wanted to put my initials in it showing that I made the controller. So that was my little signature on the controller. And so here's the controller after everything hardened. You can see bits of clay all around it, kind of looking like melted plastic. Well, once I paint it, you know, it'll look a little bit more like melted plastic. And now I just want to rough it up. I'm using 60 grit sandpaper. This way it gives the paint something to bite to. And also it adds to that weathered effect. I kind of want to see those scratches in the controller. Normally you would go back with a, a finer grit sandpaper so everything's smooth before you do primer in your base coat. But again, I want that gritty look. And now I'm trying out this Krylon Fusion paint. It's a primer and base coat all together and it's a white color. So I'm just gonna add a couple coats to this. Very light coat to start out with and I wait about 10 minutes in between each coat. I did about three coats to cover the controller. And here's the controller all primed in white. It looks minty fresh, but we gotta dirty it up and make it look like a bomb went off. So I'm just using some regular acrylic paint a little bit of black and I'm kind of dry brushing on right here where I'm taking a lot of the paint off of the paintbrush and just lightly going over the controller and it's gonna get into all those scratches we left with the sandpaper, adding that weather effect. And now just looking at pictures of burned things, um, so I'm going with the colors, a little bit of brown, some oranges, just that color when something gets melted. So I'm going around the pieces of clay like that to give that illusion. And I'm back at it with the lighter melting this bad boy to give it a more organic flame look that a bomb did go off and it actually has some melted parts. Once that was done and I got the desired look that I want, it was time to seal everything and I'm just using a clear coat over this and I'm putting about three coats of clear coat on this. So now when adding this clear, it was actually an intentional paint reaction that was happening. As you saw, I used the Krylon base coat and now I'm switching over to Rust-Oleum with the Crystal Clear and sometimes paints don't match up when you put them together so it's going to add this crinkle effect once I put the clear coat over it and that's kind of just adding to 
you know, a bomb hit it and some of the paint is crinkling up. So I actually like that it did this. Now, next thing is I'm putting the vinyl decal over the top of this and this mimics the four player adapter with Bomberman's face right on there. And basically just line this up perfectly and it peels right off. And I was ready to add all the buttons back in, the membranes, and get some final assembly going for the controller. Now the decal looked great, but it was too clean. So I had to go back and weather it a little bit again with some dry brushing and using a towel with a little bit of black paint on it and kind of rubbing and blending it in. This way the vinyl decal blend it with the rest of the controller. And well, that was it. It was a completed Super Nintendo Bomberman themed controller. And I think the end product came out pretty awesome. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys think so as well. And have you guys ever played the Bomberman series? I know it came out on the Switch, Super Nintendo, Sega Saturn. I actually was part of, you could do 10 players at once on the Sega Saturn. It's definitely a wild experience. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this custom DIY build. I have plenty more on the channel if you guys are interested. And subscribe if you are not already because I put out weekly videos. As always, gamers, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, Joey Ellis, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Joe Shivi, David Apuzo, Maynard, Brian Culpepper, TechWizX, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Kaz, Ayan Oshie, Ganon Man, and all my Patreon supporters. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later.